Hi guys, so I'm back from my uh, one week vacation and then I have been away for two days to Vienna for some um, business reasons. So for my company or for the company I work for, not my company, so for the company I work for. But today is Wednesday the 8th of November and the kit or the new kit because this is the kit video this is something leftovers from the old kit, from the October kit, but today I'm also going to show you the November kit. So, uh, as I said, today it is the Wednesday the 8th and the kit arrived on Sunday, Saturday, Saturday the 5th. And I wasn't home because this was the day when we came back from the vacation. And then we haven't been home, I haven't been home, I mean I live alone, so I haven't been home and... Um, I needed to go to the post office so and since i have been away for two days on monday and tuesday and i came back yesterday late at night so i was very excited to go this today after work so i worked and then i biked to the post office picked up my kit and went home and said now i'm going to show you everything and then i can start scrapping with the new kit and i'm really excited so but first this is the leftovers from the October kit from Scrapbook Werkstatt. This is where I get my kits at the moment from. So I have two papers left. And then I have some alphabet stickers and some word and shape stickers, hearts and circles, stars, and then some uh, paper, obviously. So some things I cut apart. But it's not very much. So in, in comparison with my September kit, this is uh, very little what's left over. So, and then I have these stickers. It's puffy stickers from the blush collection from My Mind's Eye. Uh, I tried to use them, but I didn't. And when I looked at the kit today, to when I know, okay, I was going to show you what it's left over, I was thinking, will I ever use them? And I decided probably not so this goes into my box for giveaways and I have no problems giving away my stuff because for me it's why should it be or laying around at my place if some person would love to have it and use it so for me it would be important if someone gets it that they are using it for their craft so and I, I like to give so I will make some giveaways <laughs> So that's the leftovers from the October kit. So and now the layouts I made with the kit. And I made in total seven layouts and five with the kit and five, uh, two layouts I made um, from papers which were not in the kit. But one I used some embellishment from the kit and one was totally off from the a monthly kit I just use my stash my stuff from the stash but this is my first layout I made so I put them in order the first one is on top and then the last one is on the bottom and this is the one I like the most for the month because I felt like I tried something new and I'm happy about it so I'm kind of proud that I did and that's why this is my favorite one for the month of October because what I did I kind of or not kind of I used a pencil and I drew these mountains here um, along the bottom I'm, I'm so bad in drawing and so it was always like ah no I can't do it so I didn't but in this layout it felt like something was missing and I wanted to have something here or on the on the bottom so I was thinking maybe with this card but then you need more mountains so I took the pencil and I tried my very best and I'm happy about the results so what I did this is my picture and I used this this and this uh, from 4 by 6 cut apart from the collection from the uh, Creekside collection from one can two and the background paper is from the blush collection this is the one with the dots on the back and yeah I cut the 4x6 cards into size so it fits like the size of the picture and then I from this card I just 
um, fussy cut around the uh, mountains and I glued it down and then I drew these mountains on the bottom so I show you so and then my journaling is on do you say deli paper or sandwich paper so it's I think you say deli paper and yeah with my typewriter I have a vintage typewriter so and then some hearts and word stickers and the plus signs yeah that's it and I really like it so this is the second layout and except for the sticker the flower sticker and the background paper the green one everything is from the monthly kit yes so this is a picture which was taken in 2009 and I have several pictures from 2009 from the vacation I um, made in Sweden in when I arrived in Sweden and lived there for a couple of years so and I finally said I'm going to scrapbook these pictures so I love this dark blue star paper it's lovely and then the green one what I backed it with is from simple stories and I again have no I mean here I didn't have a separate title because I thought this is kind of a title and I did the same here because all of this long text I feel like I don't need a title so and a bit of journaling here and some word sticker again and that's it like it so and this one will be my cover page for my Sweden um, album so I just took a picture we um, I took on vacation to in 2009 it's these cute reindeers do we say reindeers yes yeah, reindeers so um, yeah and then these stickers are from the sticker pack which was not included in the kit but I had uh, in my stash it's also one kin and two and it's very simple I mean the pick the paper is like a road right, right it's the road I mean it's somewhere in probably more like Texas or Mexico it's not Sweden but it could be <laughs> I mean it's the road so and I felt like it's totally appropriate for my um, cover page because it's about the road trip I made in the beginning of my time in Sweden I arrived in 2009 in May and then I worked for like one and a half months maybe two and then I took a month off to take the road trip so and this is also a picture from Sweden and here again I didn't make this kind of standard title I would call it where you have the picture and your journaling and then some some title I used this card this is also it was also a four by six card these two and I just um, cut around shape and then the title is curious world and free so and then the background paper is not from the monthly kit it's from um, a paper pad which I got from a very cheap store but I, I like it and it has okay quality so it's sturdy enough it's not flimsy and here as well I split my um, journaling the first part is up here and then the second part is down in the other corner and then I have a flare I got from Susanne and yeah simple one but I like it so and this layout is totally from stuff from my stash so I used um, this black and white is gray paper the vellum as well and then the bluish paper is from this cheap um, paper pad and these stickers also from a dollar store yeah that's nice so I like it and this the birds are like dimensional birds and it's again very simple and the title has two parts and it's from the time where I uh, made or I um, participate in some field work catching birds and then kind of weighing measuring measuring them and then they flew away so they were not caught and they didn't die so we're just caught to measure and then they were free again so my almost last layout is this one it's again very simple I don't know it was like more on a simple side this month um, 
just some layering here, journaling, my title, and these are some, I punched some circles, small circles, and yeah, the leaves, I fussy cut leaves from one of the papers from the collection, uh, from the kit, yeah, so, okay, and now it's the last one, and this is the one, the first layout I made for the series I uh, do with Susanna, her channel name is Schnullo, and we will choose a sketch. Uh, we already have the sketch for November, and there will be probably the video in like one and a half weeks, I believe. And this was our first one we did in October, and you can uh, have a look at our video. So everybody, every one of us has um, uploaded a video, a process video, and this is the sketch we use. And yeah, this is the layout I made. So I'm really pleased with it because it was kind of nervous for me scrapbooking while the camera was on and I felt like I had some time pressure, but then I thought, no, I don't have it because I can kind of have it speed it up a little bit. And this is how it is. I mean, scrapbooking is not always what you see on YouTube that everything flows together like in 20 minutes. It's often an hour or two hours or some people even go away or sometimes I need like three hours for a layout if I watch something or if I'm not in a rush. So, but this, this was a bit different. So I felt in the beginning, some, I have some pressure. I have to, it has to be perfect and I don't have so much time because nobody wants to watch a long video. But then I felt, no, I mean, I would like... To sh I mean, I want to show how it is. I mean, it's even speed it up because you don't want to watch an hour of scrapbooking. But in the end, I'm really happy about the layout. And this is again a picture for my um, Sweden album from 2009. So these are the seven layouts I made with the October kit and some of my stuff from the stash. And I'm really, really happy with the outcome of the layouts, so that I made seven and I like them, so I'm really happy. I hope November will be safe. So, okay, and now the October kit. So again, I get my kits at the moment from Scrapbook Werkstatt and every month uh, we get this um, inspirational journal where you can have a look at other creations and I will have a look later on. So, and now it's the kit. So this is, uh, and it was already a little bit open. So it's the um, ephemera pack from Pink Fred Studio, Escape the Ordinary. It's the name of the collection. And you can have a, a look at it. It's it's nice colors because it's not girly. It's, it's definitely um, a collection for maybe boys, if you have kids or for it, it's not too, since it's, it's not girly, I feel like this is also for scrapbooking adult pictures or if you don't have kids or just so your vacation pictures maybe. Because often I feel like it's, for me at least, it's often too much pink. But if you watch me for some time now, you know, pink is not my favorite color. <laughs> so. And then we got also one of these bows. It's from the carousel collection from Great Paper. And these um, planner glue pen from Prima Marketing. And I bought a sim or I bought one of these last month. So I've I have now two and I don't need two because it feels like for me it would be wasting because I'm not sure how long this glue stick will be pen will be fine so I probably give to put this in my giveaway so someone can love it and use it so and let me see so these are Amy Tangerine die cut tags and since I have the video made the same exact video in German before I know what's in and I got two of two pieces from two designs so there are these round ones so I have two of these they're pretty 
I'm really um, surprised that I like them. So I like these ones. This one is okay. The, f the feather is okay too. I'm not fond of this. I'm not uh, an owl person. So owls were really popular some time ago and probably I'll still really people like them and it's fine and I I think it's good that people like something a lot and really appreciate it but I'm not the old person sorry so and then there's one tag it says beautiful it's it's beautiful <laughs> indeed and then there's the happy one and I have one just with some floral shapes is it a bird it looks like a bird here and then there is the heart shape and it says love and then i have one happy as well so i have a happy and this doily kind of thing twice so i will be surprised if i use them but i hope to use them so i tr really i will really try to use them not the owl, but some of the others. <laughs> so, because I have really hard times using such things. But I really want to try. So, and then we have these alphabet stickers. It's also from the Pink Fresh Escape the Ordinary collection. And they are cool because they are really thin. And they look like leather. But it's not real leather. But it has the look of leather. So I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. And it smells different. I smelled. So I... Yeah. And it smells different than other stickers. Alphabet sticker when you open the... But not bad. So it's not bad. But it's a different smell. <laughs> I, I like to smell stuff. So... Um, yeah. It's, it's nice that the numbers are different. But you have only one number. From each so that could be difficult I have to see but I like them and they are so thin you can really if you are like a traveler's notebook kind of uh, memory keeper this would be perfect because it doesn't add any or not too much bulk to your journal that's great so these are the alphabet stickers love them and now the paper and this month there were lots of paper I have to see if I can separate them. So there is, this is my favorite. It's again from Pink Fresh Studio and I, we got seven Pink Fresh Studio paper and they're really nice quality. So they are thicker than other uh, companies. I know that uh, Cartabella, they also have pretty thick paper. So this is really nice. So this one, oh, thick. it's not my favorite. So I don't like this one. So. But this one, I love. So, and this one is nice too. It's like these leaf shapes. This is okay, but oh, guys, for me, it's like if I, when I look at the paper, the first thing I think about is can I use it as a background? Because I normally use a design paper as my background paper. And these kind of papers, it makes it really tough on me because I feel like. I cannot use it so and then ah, I feel like it's waste but this one is okay I will see so and then this one is beautiful as well it's a nice color mm, this color is nice but the design not so much so I'm not fond of it as much so but this one's nice then this paper is also cool because I, I like it if you have options and use cut apart for embellishing or title or if you make a mini you can use them as some things to embellish with or so. Yeah. And this one is pretty pretty pretty. Love it. So and then it's a shape. Because for me, at least for me, because if I want to use something here, I cannot use the entire paper here because I'm going to cut into it. Ah, it's made it difficult. So, but I will figure it out. So this one, I don't know. I don't like this page or this side. 
Oh, I'm not sure. No, doesn't like it. But this one, I will figure out what I'm going to do with it. This one is a nice one. I like this page or this side. So I can imagine doing something here. And then this one is okay too. Yeah. So, and then this one. I like it as well. You can cut out the shapes um, using them on your layouts in a different way. And this one is nice too. So, these were seven papers from the Pink Fresh Ordin Escape the Ordinary collection. And now we got four papers from Simple Stories Beautiful. That's the name of the collection, Beautiful. Yeah. So, and you have one with the larger circles and the uh, smaller dots and it's not wide it's more it, to me it feels like a very very subtle mint color <coughs> excuse me so that's nice too and this one hey look at it it's the golden dots Ooh. it feels already very Christmassy this paper feels Christmassy to me so yeah pretty so it is also it's flowery floral but it's kind of nice but I would not use it as a background but that's just my personal um, way I feel about it let's see what we can do then this one is pretty as well again it's a very subtle color it's not it's like pastel pastel soft pink yeah and then the background, the second side, I don't like. And then I saw that there is the same one in a different color. And I was like, oh no, it looks like marble or marble, maple, marble. Um, but oh, I don't like it. That's kind of a shame. So, and then this one where you can have some four by six cut apart and then the last thing we got also a sticker sheet that's awesome it's it feels like this month it's a lot in the kit and it's really worth it some months I had the feeling was it really worth my money <laughs> but this month I, I I say yes it was worth my money so you have word stickers you have some tabs here and some a border sticker and some smaller of a sticker flowers are pretty yeah that's cool so I like this one and I would say it is a nice kit and I will try to make some nice layouts and you will see them in the end of November of course and there will be maybe one of at least one definitely one if not two uh, scrap the sketch videos this month so or something else okay that's for me i will start scrapping now it's almost it's is it seven already i have to check Do -do -do -do. yeah it's a bit uh, a few minutes before seven so i will get uh, a drink so maybe yeah so not um alcoholic drink i don't drink um so um i will get maybe a soft drink I have to see and then um, I will start scrapping and having Big Bang Free running on my um, computer and just relaxing because I've been away for the last two days and it was always a long time when you go away for a business trip for me it was like flying to Vienna and then I had troubles uh, checking in in the hotel and I needed to wait needed to wait um, over an hour at the lobby and it was already in the evening and I felt like I just want to go and sleep and then yesterday evening I arrived at home a bit before 11 o'clock in the evening so today I really feel like I don't want to make any household work like cleaning or laundry or whatsoever I just want to scrap and relax and enjoy my evening. So I hope you do the same. Just relax, enjoy your evening, whatever you do, and see you next time. Bye.